hate the homies. Hey, what up, man? What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of I Hate the Homies podcast. Uh, Rock Teasy is who I be, and uh, <laughs> go ahead, Griff Dog. <laughs> The big, the go blue. Let's go. <laughs> we playing Michigan band music. <laughs> if y'all don't know, Michigan beat Ohio State. Griffin Super Day made a one hundred dollar bet. Ohio State went to grill. I mean, went to Super Day. So Super Day lost $100. This is Griff rubbing it in his face. We ain't even got the episode started yet. He already <laughs> rubbing it in his face. Let's let's rub it some more. First of all, how are you, Rock T? 79, I think, of Dave's mama. How about that? <laughs> how about that? I know she done told him more than 79 times to watch who you talking to, little Dave. <laughs> What are you talking to? Hold on, we gonna get into all that, Grim. No, 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 no. Let's skip up. It's people who listen to this show every week. Yeah, every yeah, week. Yeah, seventy nine weeks. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we skipping. We changing the direction of the show right now. <laughs> I, what I, what I, I think what I think is seventy nine is about how many, how many men dude, your mama been with. Seventy nine. I told this dude. Unless you got a tattoo. You didn't tell me nothing. Unless you got a tattoo of what you talking about. I ain't him. I'm not him. You did better have seen me, my honey. Did I pay, did I pay you already? You did better have. You better have. You better have. Yeah, That'll better save have. you some more. That'll save you some more embarrassment. Dave, understand this, Dave. Not, no, Dave, man. because I mean, you cited here. Let's talk to you like gang members. Since you rolling with bloods, you a blood. How about that? Since you rolling with bloods, Cross you a fingers, blood. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Not, you don't. You don't have to understand none of that, but everybody else do. No, and you got no, trip no, no, walked no. on. I'm and you got trip walked on, cuz. Hey, cuz. And you got trip walked on, cuz. Everything you saying right now, sorry, no one cares. Hold up. No one. Care. Oh, sorry, that was a boring. I'm in day. South Africa, and you should day. not be able to say nothing I, to I me. Am. I am talking. Shut up! You don't me. get to say nothing. I told you, but if you, you need to talk to him. Hold on, if you that yeah, go blue, dog. Go blue. Y'all have a fun rest of this show. Go blue. Thank you for my money, nigga. No, listen. If you that cocky, you that confident, oh, he gonna be gone? Oh, no. Oh, it's like that. No. He said what he had to say and said, deuces, like, I'm gone. <laughs> well, then I'm gonna hang up too because I always say you do your job, right? Hold on. First of all, uh, Dave, like, for real, for real, you gotta turn your mic up because you sound low. Uh, but that's cool. We'll, we'll deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, guys, welcome to episode number 79. Griff is obviously animated. He's so animated. Maybe a little love uh, of uh, happy, angry at the same time. But uh, he's gone. <laughs> he said, "I'm checking out." Well, and man. I think I think he's checking out is because we all we all understand. There you go. He's back. <laughs> See, hold on, Rock T. Rock T. I apologize. I let my I let my passion. I let my passion. <laughs> Rock T. I apologize to you. But but the Super Day. Super Day. Man to man, sports fan to another sports fan. I need you to not talk until I'm all the way done talking. I don't need you to, don't say nothing. I'm not telling you how to speak. You a grown man. I was gonna say, who the hell are you talking to? But, I don't give a damn but, about Michigan. But, but, yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, I don't give a damn about that. But whatever. If you confident. If you whatever. Then bet me again. Whatever. Me one more time. Oh. One more time. See, he won't oh, do that. He going again. <laughs> Look at him. He ran. <laughs> he ran. All right, so let me say this. Let's just get in right into it. Let me let me put my little two cents in because we don't know if Griff, he may pop back in again, whatever. But let me just say this. All right. Y'all made a bet. We all make bets, man. We all have these little homie, homie bets. I bet my team going to beat your team, whatever. We know Ohio State is not your team. 
But you I thought did. that Ohio State would beat Michigan, so y'all took the bet. It's cool. No big deal. Ain't no hard feelings. No. It's Hold not. on. Here we go. All right, Rod T. It's a, it's a bunch of Michigan fans. It's a bunch of Michigan fans, Rock T. All right, so let me talk. Hold on. Let me let me let me let me let me let me uh massage this situation a little bit. So I was just telling Dave Griff. Massage start with an M. It does. <laughs> it also no starts. Hey, money also starts. Y'all better with be M. glad. Y'all better be glad I'm not. Y'all <laughs> better be glad nothing. Keep talking. I ain't, gonna, I ain't got no dog in this fight, but I'm I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the instigator. And and and, and uh what you call it. The mediator, whatever you want to call this bad boy. So, Super Dave and Griff made a hundred dollar bet. Griff had Michigan, even though Super Dave's team is not Ohio State. He thought, "Thank Ohio you, State, thank he thought, you." He thought Ohio State would still beat Michigan. That's why he accepted the hundred dollar bet. Michigan won the game, so it is what it is. On Griff's side, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my opinion on both of y'all side. On Griff's side. The winner of this bet, he has every right to be acting like he's acting right now. He has every right to talk trash. That's part of sports. I won. My team that I bet on beat the team that you was betting against me on. So, yes, you get to glorify all that and talk that trash. Now, Super Dave, when you when you lose a bet, you can do one of two things. You can say, you know what? Man, good job, Michigan. Here's my, you to do. Here's my hundred dollars. I picked it wrong. No big deal. It is what it is, and keep it moving. Or you can you could be, or you could be Super Dave. Yeah, or you can, so, or you can do. So let, me, you, let me or, let me or, read you. Let me read you his bum text he sent me. Go this ahead, how go ahead, go this ahead. how this was gonna happen today because it is because it is bum text. I wasn't even gonna be so. It was this text that took me over. It, I hated it. I'm, I'm about to tell you. All I'm saying is no Ohio State people can't talk. Guess what? This day second day of being in school. They back from school. So everybody's saying three read the years damn in text. a row, Dave. Read the damn text. Read the text. Don't read the text. Read the text. Row, read the damn text. Dave, it, man. unless you got a tattoo of what you talking about on your skin, I'm not him. <laughs> Remember that for the rest of your life. Yeah, you but heard. Concerning, you but heard. concerning Michigan and Ohio State. But concerning Michigan and Ohio State. Tell me. Hey, I got the text right here. I'm going to read it. <laughs> so you did say this, Dave, in the, in the group text. You said, man, don't ever come at me like that for some sorry team. I'm going to keep it clean. I ain't going to put all the, all the cuss words in there for the sorry blank team. Sorry, both, teams, yeah. both teams are average and can't beat the middle of the pack in the SEC. Thank you. I don't know, I don't know if I agree with that point, but I, I uh, both, te both teams are trash. But remember, you voted, you you made a bet with one of these trash teams. So, uh, and that was a waste of TV time for all of us. Now, look, okay, Dave. Now, you, this is this is brother to brother, and we all know that we can keep it real with each other and not take it personal. Of course, uh, you sounded I, like a you sounded like a sore loser, Dave. You can't do that. He is, but he are, but we but hold on. And not you, only that, I knew I knew you was. You can't. You I can't knew you that. was gonna act like this. So I've been look, planning to talk to you, boy. Hold on. I've been planning it. I ain't got no dog in this fight. I know. I know. This I know. And I'm, he I'm, really yeah. shouldn't. And he I'm, really shouldn't. But this conversation is not for Super Dave per se. He can eat some of it. This is for the Buckeye fans. Yeah. This so, is for you, Buckeye. Your alma mater, and you from Columbus and Dayton. This is for them Buckeye fans. Three in a row, baby. In baseball, you're out. <laughs> I ain't even tripping off Dave. It's bigger than you. Your daughter bigger than you, but that ain't the point. The point is this. Until you get it tattooed, brother, until you all until right. you get a little star, all until right, you, get, you can talk about the Raiders all you want to. I'm not here to talk about the Raiders. I'm here to defend all Michigan fans who've been saying all year, Griff, the Buckeye, that, that Marvin Harrison Jr. is a problem. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. The Belitnikoff, the, the Belitnikoff winner of all of college. Absolutely. I Stop can't do him. This. I can't Stop do this. him. I can't Stop right, hold him. On, Griff. Hold on, Griff. Hold on, Griff. Here we go. This. Time out. Now, you've expressed your opinion. I'm not Griff. done. You got. 
Hold on, pause for a second. Hold on, pause for a second. I gave y'all my two cents. Now I'm out of it. Now, Super Dave, how do you want to respond to Griff? Go ahead. And Griff, don't cut him off. Go ahead, Dave. I made it perfectly, perfectly clear when I made the bet. I have no dogs in this fight. I can care less about either one of these poor-ass sorry teams in the Big Ten. It's a freaking joke. So I bet him because he talked a lot of noise. I lost $100, big deal, but I gained $200 because I bet on people on Colorado. So I made money. Don't put stuff over me. Don't put the, don't put that Michigan song over me. Okay. I don't know. Well, how oh, you... I'm not done. But I, as I'm sitting there watching the game, and I and you read the text, and I, you said it right. I'm sitting there going, if you call this football, I'd rather watch the game that was on Monday night, which was Minnesota and the Chicago Bears. Uh, <laughs> JJ so McCarthy, trash. The Michigan Wolverines, trash. Ohio State, trash. They couldn't beat Mississippi State or Ole Miss in the SEC. And I'll stick with that. So if you if you're that confident in your team right now, you got the you got the you got the tattoo, you got the flip flops, you got the tattoo on your ass. Make the bet. Can they win a national championship? That's all I ask. Oh, is this double or nothing? Is, is, this, is this another bet? This is this uh, here, is girl. Here comes the girl is, part. Here comes the girl is, part that he won't do. You know is this another Super bet? Jay. He won't Super do it. We, we, we you got are, you are a horrible we got loser, and I love it. And you probably though. never played organized sports because you got too mad. Oh, but today I don't want to be your stepfather. You're a loser. Two fingers. <laughs> so I doubt if Griff come back. That's yeah, I, mean, I play sports, but like I said before, if you if you're that confident in your team, they make the bet. He's he's very confident in this team. No, That's why he made have, this bet. No, they have small goals. Their goals is to beat Ohio State, which is fine. No big thing. But well, what's the bigger it? goal? Who won the national? Alabama, the national Georgia. When you look at those two teams, what, what are they fighting for? A national who, championship. Who won it? Who who won the national championship last year? Who won it? Georgia. Who was in it? It wasn't Michigan. It was TCU. Yeah. Who lost to who? Who beat yeah. who? Of course, who beat Georgia. Michigan. Of of course, TCU okay. beat Michigan. Yeah, I'm saying they got small goals, so we're right. sitting there talking about what they did against Ohio State. I can care less. If you're that confident in your team, they make the bet that they can beat okay. either Georgia or Alabama. All right, and so and so here's my respect. I get it. Then they're trash. I get Both all that. Trash. I get all that, Super Dave. But you can't just don't tell me what I can't do because I just you, told you what I'm going to do. Well, you have you have a right to do whatever you want to. You're a okay. grown man. I'm just saying, as, as as your homie, I'm just like, look, bro, you lost the bet, and just I leave, them. just leave oh, it at that, it. Okay, and it's done. Like, okay, then, and it's like, no, don't come up, but I, don't come up with a whole bunch of. What do you always say? You always say it doesn't matter how you win. A win is a win. It doesn't matter how sloppy they play. They won the game. At the bottom line is the W in the column, the win well, column. What did I just you say? say that all the time. Am I, am I taking anything away from them? I no, said, but you, but you, but you coming behind it with a whole bunch of excuses about how sorry there, they are. Playing, did they you watch the game? Yes or no? I watched half the game. I didn't watch the okay. whole. Okay, I watched the entire game, and that game was boring as hell. Okay, it was two bad teams out there that couldn't beat the two middle teams in the SEC, and I stick by that. That's not knocking against. I said both teams. I'm not just talking about Michigan. I'm okay. talking about overrated Ohio State. So the Big Ten is sorry, and if Oregon and Washington was in the Big Ten this year, we wouldn't be talking about either one of these teams right now. That's what I I'm talking about. All right, so we gonna right. put this. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? No, I, I disagree with that. I, I do think Michigan and Ohio State is as good as the middle road of the teams, uh, uh, the middle of the road teams in the SEC. I think they are just as good as those teams. Can they so, beat Alabama and Georgia? Yes. Or no? Um, I think they can. This year, I think they both teams can can beat uh, Alabama. I don't think they can beat Georgia. I think Alabama's a very Alabama's not your normal Alabama. Come on now. It is what it is. Now, have they found ways to win games this year? Yes, they have. But I think Michigan and Ohio State could compete and possibly beat Alabama. Well, what makes me mad is when y'all see the print say me being a sports sport. I'm not I'm not mad about the hundred dollar loss. I can care less about that. The whole Dude, thing we, is I get to analyze what I saw. Look, that's what we do. You watch no, a game, you can analyze it. That's what I'm doing. Maybe it's and maybe it's, me. it's how you do it, sir. 
It's how you do it. Like well, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it trying to appease everybody else. I'm doing what I saw and had to sit through. I had to stomach through four quarters of crap. Now you look at the Auburn uh, Alabama game or the Washington Washington State game that was played Saturday. Those games were exciting. This game was not exciting. But all games ain't gonna have the bells and whistles. Some games are gonna but be I'm saying, they'll make they make it out to be the bells and whistles. I'm telling you what. That's what I'm telling you. Well, you got to also come from a, a diehard Michigan fan. Like, of course, the diehard fans like Griff, they're going to add the bells and whistles to the victory. They All they care about is the win. They don't care about how they got it done, just like your team. When your team wins, all you care about is the win. Like, you may not like how the Cowboys played a certain week. We know how big of a Cowboy fan you are, but as long as they got the win, you cool. If, yeah, they, if, they, if they get to the second or third round of the playoffs – and it's 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 dog is ugly football. You still gonna be happy as a fan because they at least got to the second third round of playoffs. So at the end of the day, man, I get it. Yeah, we want bells and whistles, and we want you know flair and a bunch of touchdowns and a high scoring shootout and heavyweight fight, all that good stuff. But dog on it, sometimes it's gonna be an old school, old school freaking <laughs> boring. You know, three plays and out. Over and over and over again, and whoever gets the ball last gonna win. And it is what it is. My point is this, Dave, and then we're gonna move on to the next topic. All I'm saying is from the person that's the third wheel here, <laughs> is just you made a bet. Whoever wins, they get the glory. Whoever loses, you just gotta suck. You gotta sit back and suck it up. I'm like, hey, my bad. I, I picked that one wrong. I don't suck up nothing. I paid my hundred dollars. I still All got right. a voice. I All still right. got a mouth. All right, there you go. go. I still had to sit through that garbage of a game. And watch J.J. McCarthy, who's a garbage quarterback, and a garbage. Hey, that's just both teams were garbage. The Big Ten is garbage, and all that's gonna make them better next year when they get Oregon and Washington. That's it. And UCLA and USC. Right now they're garbage. The Big Ten. You okay. Got ten teams. Ten teams. Ten, there are fourteen teams in the Big Ten right now. Let me just get a stat. Fourteen teams. All right. Only four teams are above six wins. All the rest of those teams, I'm talking about 10, 10 and below, have five wins or less in that conference. It's a trash, garbage conference. Penn State is horrible. And Michigan and Ohio State. Last year with C.J. Stroud, Ohio State was a little bit better. But this year, I saw two teams that were average teams. They were not great. They weren't even good. All right. Well, there you go. That's why we that's why we talk, because we all have our own personal opinions yeah, on it. everything. That's all. So let's get ready to talk about this whole T.I. Uh, and King situation. The son King, and y'all know if, if, if you've been up under a rock, um, we'll tell you what's going on. Maybe we'll even try to play the audio and then give you our quick opinions and thoughts on it. All right, so T.I., Tiny, King, I guess the whole family went to an Atlanta <laughs> Falcons game. I think they was a part of um, a halftime situation that was going that was going on out there at the, at the Falcons game. anniversary of hip-hop. Of hip-hop, absolutely. So – uh, King, their son, they got into an altercation right before they was about to get ready to walk into the stadium, and he was live on his Instagram, and it just pretty much turned into a fiasco. You know, you can give me your thoughts first before I say what I got to say about it. I think it's something that runs deeper than what we just heard on the video. I mean, on the audio. I mean, that's that's my opinion. It's the whole thing of don't disrespect your parents, and that's what he did. I don't care if he lived with his grandmother uh, for most of his life and not with them. And we only saw him what, when they had the TV show during that time, the reality show. But it doesn't matter. The, right. the bottom line is they gave you life and you disrespected them. You had to have T.I., your father, put you in a, I guess, a chokehold. A headlock. Yep. A headlock to calm you down. And he's lucky I'm not his father because I can't tell you what I would have done. Yeah, he allegedly kind of. Once you start coming after me as my son or my any period, my kid, period. I think I hate these Bill Cosby, but what do you say on the on the, um, on the Cosby Show? I brought you in this world. I take you I'll out. Take you out. That's the way I look at it, and I think it's a sorry situation that for him to have it on, on on um, on IG, yeah, on Instagram, live. Yeah, yeah that that it's part. Everything's a show, man. Nothing is real anymore. I mean, it's real, but I'm saying everybody, everything has to be put out there for people to see. I didn't want to see this because it shows exactly what people think we already are. Ghetto. That's what I look at. 
Well, yeah, even if he was on, even if it was on his, his Instagram live, when all this kind of took off, he should have turned it off. Like when all this started happening and it started turning into something negative, he should have, he should have shut his Instagram down right there. Um, but I'm, I'm, I got a couple of different opinions on this because as a father, mm -hmm. you know, we all as parents, there's no, there's no book out there that teaches you how to be the perfect parent how to raise your kids. You do the best. We do the best that we can. And we hope and pray that when they become adults, they can, they can learn the lessons from us, from our mistakes. And they can take a little bit that we've hopefully poured into them, the good stuff that we poured into them. And then they can go on and, and live a better life than we had. Uh, sometimes, you know, when kids get older, they start having, they start thinking for themselves they started having negative influence from other people in other situations from choices that they may have made. And now you can't really tell them anything. And we talk, my wife and I talk about this all the time on the, on our uh, perfect pair podcast about we can, you can love your kids, but you don't have to like them. And what we mean by that is you don't have to like the things that your kids do. Some of the things that your kids do. Sometimes you got to distance yourself. Sometimes you got to cut them off a little bit. And let them go ahead. Okay, well, since you got life figured out and you want to live life the way you want to live it and you want to go down that road, you go ahead and do that. We're going to continue to pray for you. Hope that your health and well-being remains intact. But um, we can't we can't be a part of that nonsense that you got going on over there. And and then we just pray that they hopefully go live that portion of their life and they come back around and say, hey, man, I, I, I learned from that. Um, I would love to sit down and talk with Kane. You know what I'm saying? And just to listen to him, just to hear him out, not to not to try to tell him what to do, not to try to say, you know, better just as a as a as a as a big brother, uncle slash mentor type person. Just sit down with him. Someone that's that's not his dad, someone that's not someone that's associated with his family, uh, just to kind of see, because obviously there's a lot of internal pain that's going on that we don't even know about. We don't even know about like we don't know. We just saw that. But we don't know this. This is this is because he said something about if you thought I was a mistake, then something has been said there. Something, you know, yeah, something this has been brewing for a long time. Yeah. So man, that's I don't that, know if something been said or you overheard something, right? Where that's been eating at him all these years, and because he wants to live, I don't know, I don't know why guys want to do this, but they want to live that I guess that gangster life. Yeah, did we yeah. go through this? Did we go through this with Michael Irvin's son just a couple of months ago? Everybody want everybody want to be had that street cred, that like street cred. Be they thankful. Don't you, they don't get you crowd. Be thankful that your parents made it out the hood, exactly, so they can provide a better a better life for you, and you ain't got to worry about that hood life. You ain't got to worry about walking out on your porch, maybe getting shot, getting robbed. You know, liquor store on this corner, gun shop on that corner, drugs infested all in the community. Be thankful you ain't got to deal with all that. And now you want to go back to that? You want to you want to talk, man? Come on, man. That's the part that's that's the part that you just kind of you're kind of ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, so, man, we just we just going to continue to pray for their family, Tiny and uh, and Tip and, and King and, and the whole family, man. And hopefully, they, hopefully they can get back on track and uh, and get this situation resolved. So on that note, man, let's get into the NFL. Uh, let's see how we did with our picks and then let's get ready to pick for this week. Because I know the sports genius did pretty good this week, if I ain't mistaken. All right, so uh, NFL last week. Um, go ahead and re reveal the results of our picks, Super Dave. I mean, I'm not like the fat one <laughs> or the very white one that's left the show. I mean, Bill Belichick, I, what did I say just a month ago? I said, do your damn job. You won a $100 bet, but that don't mean you off the show. Just come to work. Just off the show. Now you yeah. know what? I can't. I can't be mad at you at that one. I, I when you're work. right, when you're what? right, I'm with you. You know, okay, man. So he, 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 I, he still should right. still be right here on this show right now. Doing this episode. Absolutely. No, okay. absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Okay. I'm with you when you're right now. Uh, unlike him last week when he won the NFL picks last week and he was going crazy, I won this week. Eleven. You got. You had ten, and he had ten. But it's I no big thing. Yeah, I still can't believe the freaking Vikings let the Bears beat them. But Josh, now we know why he's a backup. He had four interceptions in that game. God, four geez. interceptions. 
Come on. We're guys. always like the backup until it's time to him to be the true starter, right? Now we realize why you're the backup. Okay, <laughs> like, man. We golly. All, we learned the hard way. Man, so we we, we wind it down. I want to ask you a question, man. So we got – and be, get, this is your aunt. I'm just, listen, don't – I need you to take your Cowboy fan hat off when I ask this question. You, you, got, the, you, got, you got the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles are sitting there 10 and 1. Yeah. And remind me to give you my thoughts and opinions on Jalen Jalen Hurts here in a second. Okay. You got – we know what the Detroit Lions are doing. Some people call it a fluke. I call it it's real. They lost Thanksgiving Day. Remember that. Man, don't remind me. Okay. We got the 49ers sitting there. You know, they had their little couple games where everybody was like, uh-oh, but now they're bouncing back. Mm -hmm. So, out of those three teams, in my opinion, the NFC is going to run through one of those three teams. That's just me. Where are you sitting on now, all this? Like, honestly, if you if we start the playoffs right now, who do you feel comfortable that could make a legitimate run to the Super Bowl? San Francisco. They're the better team. On both sides of the ball? On both sides of the ball. What 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 the Eagles like in the on the defensive side is that secondary. It's trash. You can throw up and up, you can throw up and down the field on them. Josh Allen did it. Dak Prescott did it. I mean, you can throw on them. Washington did it. Sam Howell did it. That game, it game almost went in overtime. I think it went in overtime, but they lost in overtime because Philadelphia's a better team. But they got the one glamour part that probably the 49ers don't have right now, which is the guy you just mentioned. They got Jalen Hurts, man. I think he's the real deal. I'm just sorry. They were down in that football game last week. And even my wife was sitting on, we were sitting on the couch. She said, look at him. He just looked nonchalant. I said, this is how he looks. This is when, this is when they uh, got in position to tie the game up with that 59-yard field goal to go into overtime. He was looking nonchalant, and I said, they're about to win it. I said, that look on his face right there. He He's seen it many something. times. Seen it many times. Many times, and that that's the key. But I think 49ers defense, I think they're definitely defense. Uh, it's all about Purdy. If Purdy can play better than – the way he played the last three games, but it wasn't against the Philadelphia Eagles. But the last three games, if he plays like that, he can match Jalen Hurts. And I picked the 49ers. They have the edge over that. Over that, over the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. So, Jalen Hurts. I'm one of the guys that has always said I love Jalen Hurts and I'm rooting for him, but I don't think he's going to be consistent in the NFL at an elite level. Yeah, I've always said that. Ah! Forget I said all that. <laughs> this dude just wins, and it's because of his composure. It's because he don't worry about all the noise that's out there. He says, I'm going to just focus on me. I'm going to keep working hard. I'm going to keep doing the best that I can. I'm going to learn, and I'm going to be – I know that I'm, I can be an elite quarterback in this league, and he's proven it every week in and week out. So now I'm a – hey, I'm a fan, bro. Like, I got mad respect for Jalen Hurts, and everything that I said in the past, throw it out. The dude can play ball. He, he He's a I, baller. I he knows he how to win ball. ball games. I dude, told you he was a baller. Listen, I think I think the hardest part for me will be when you name those three teams. You didn't put the Cowboys in the mix for some reason. You didn't put. You didn't want to put the Cowboys in the mix. I said. I said team. Cowboys. My no, bad. Said, I meant. I meant to add the Cowboys. So that, okay. there was a fourth team. I forgot. Yeah. And, yeah. And the Cowboys. Because okay. the to me, the Cowboys and the 49ers, I think the Cowboys thorn is the 49ers. It ain't the Eagles. The Cowboys thorn. They for some reason they can't beat the 49ers until they get over that mental block. 49ers got them right now. If the 49ers played the, I mean, if the Cowboys played the Philadelphia Eagles in the NFC Championship game, I'm going with the Cowboys. The Cowboys are the better team against them. That's the, I mean, that's the division. They're in the same division. They know each other. It, the Cowboys it are not afraid of the Eagles. But for some reason, when they see the 49ers, it's a different story. You can say not afraid. I don't want to use the word afraid. It's a mental they, thing. It's they, a mental thing. It's a mental thing with they, when they play the 49ers. They, it really is. I think, I think that the Dallas Cowboys finally turns that corner this year, man. As much as I am a Detroit Lions die hard, and I'm like loving what we got going on, and I do believe that the Detroit Lions are still going to somehow <coughs> find a way to get past the first round of the playoffs. There ain't going to be no one and done. But now that I put my sports genius hat back on, I think the Cowboys are going to turn the corner this year. And and, and uh, I don't want to go so far and say Super Bowl. But I said but Super Bowl. 
I but they it. got they listen, man. The way that defense is coming together without without their second best defensive player, Bland is stepping up. Um, he got a record. That, Dak Ron Bland out of nowhere, he holds the NFL record. Dak is playing. Dak has always played great football. His whole career, uh, he's put up great uh, numbers. Just say good. Just say good football. And no, no, man, Dak. Listen, does he throw interceptions? Like everybody throws interceptions, but Dak is balling, man. And he's playing. And he's an, he's kind of like Jalen Hurts. He kind of he never gets shook. Think about it, Dak. He don't get shook that much. He stays kind of cool and calm as well. He's a little bit more animated, but. He's he don't get shook, so I'm liking the Cowboys, man. I mean, but fair or, or unfair, and I'm speaking as a Cowboy fan. We judge him by what he does, not against the Washington team they played last week, not against the Giants. It's going to be what he does against the 49ers and the Philadelphia Eagles. He's beaten the Eagles before, but we want to be we want when we judge the Cowboys, even as a team, but even as a quarterback. Is can you beat the teams that have winning records? That's the that's the biggest issue we got right now with the Cowboys. I want you. I mean, and it's it, it can be fair and unfair, but the bottom line is that's how you look at a team. Look at the Miami Dolphins right now. They're all flash. They're great, but they can't beat the teams with a winning record. That's the problem. All right, they, speak, call, they speak, call them the Cowboys. All right, <laughs> so speak, speaking of records, I just pulled it up. Okay, I had to pull this up as you was talking. All right, Cowboys. They got the Seahawks. They ain't got the Eagles again. Then they got the Bills and the oh, Dolphins. Tough. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Yeah, they got a, they got a, they got a tough schedule. Then they got my Lions. That's gonna be a test. I don't care what nobody say. I think my Lions gonna come in the Cowboys stand and, and beat the line and beat the Cowboys. But that we'll get okay, to that that's part. The with Lions, that's fine. That's that's yeah. That's your opinion. So, but the reason why I think, as much as I want to believe my Lions can get to the Super Bowl this year, I just think that. So, listen, I'm a ride or die with the Lions and say we going to the bowl. But I just think the Cowboys are built a little bit stronger from top to bottom when it comes to getting to the getting, getting to that Super Bowl or whatever. So we're gonna see what happens, man. Do I think the, do I think the Lions are better than the Cowboys? I truly think the Lions are better than the Cowboys. But something about Defensively, I don't, that's where the, that's where the problem lies. Yeah, it's, it's you yeah. Saw that, you saw it against the Packers. Y'all made Jordan Love look like Tom Brady. Uh, don't, man, don't look past we, that. We just, we just, we just, we we're close. We're close. Well, so, I can say about the Cowboys. We're close. No, nah, I think y'all, I think the Cowboys are closer. I'm just gonna be, I'm be honest with you. They they're closer. You know what I'm saying? So it's there for the taking. I think the schedule you just read off of the Cowboys. It's tough, but it's gonna make them either mentally strong. Are they going to run and hide after this? After after that four or five game stretch they got against Seattle, Philadelphia, the Bills, Detroit. I mean, there's some tough games they got coming up. Yep. But if you fight through those, if you if you even win, come out of four and one, then you're built for the playoffs. You're ready now. But again, oh, yeah. your thorn in your side is the 49ers. Until you beat them, it don't matter. It's not going to matter. That's what that's where the Cowboy fan look at it. It's well, all great. You- all the flash and all the numbers they put up on the offensive side, CD Lamb and, and Dak and Cooks. But the bottom line is, can y'all do that against the 49ers? We're going to find out real soon, Jack. But right now, let's get into these picks for this week, man. Get up out of here, man. So uh, let's rock and roll. Run them down. Uh, let's go with uh, the Starts Thursday against That's my what... Cowboys. The Seahawks coming <sighs> to the Death Star, AT&T Stadium. Cowboys. Give me the Cowboys. Okay, Sunday's games. The Chargers at the Patriots. The Chargers have been so – I mean, we already know what the Patriots are, but the Chargers yeah. have been so disappointed. They got yeah. talent. I got the Chargers. I wouldn't, bet on, yeah, I, wouldn't, I, I wouldn't bet on the doggone Patriots if they was playing a middle school football, Pop Warner they team. Pitched Mac, they pitched him again in last week's game for the Patriots last week, Mac Jones. The Cardinals at the Steelers. The Steelers' offense finally woke up. They put up a 400 yards total offense. Steelers, last week. let's go with Pittsburgh. Give me Pittsburgh. The Colts at the Titans. That's a good one. The Colts are, right now. The playoffs started right now. The Colts they are right now sitting. They're in. Colts at the Titans. Ah, right, give me the Colts. Yeah, I got to go with the Colts with you on that one, dog. Ooh, flipper. That's my flipper coin game of the week. I'll take the, the Colts. Broncos at the Texans. The Broncos, five in a row. 
Yeah. Yeah, they're looking good. They're going to make the playoffs. They're going to make the playoffs. I'm going with the Broncos. Texas look good, though. The Texans look good. They look good. Give me CJ. Stroud, give me the Texans. The Lions at the Saints. Come on, son. You already know. The Lions are roaring strong. We ain't going to lose two back-to-back games. Give me the Lions. The Falcons at the Jets. Jets. I know it sounds crazy. Jets. Defense going to win that doggone game. Give me the Falcons. The Dolphins at the Commanders. Dolphins. Yep, easy. Panthers. Just fired their coach, Frank Wright. <laughs> he didn't make it through the whole entire season. That's how bad he was. Come on, man. 11 games in, they get rid of him. Who they, they playing? On, taking on the Buccaneers. I've got to go with the Bucks. Give me the Bucks too. The 49ers at the Eagles. That's a good one. That's a good one. I think I think the Niners gonna get them though. I think the Niners gonna get them. <laughs> Give me the 49ers. The Browns at the Rams. Ah, Browns still ain't got their quarterback, right? No, he's done. Yeah, give me Rams. Uh, give me the Rams too. Chiefs at the Packers. Chiefs. Yep, KC. And then the Bengals without Joe Burrow. Remember that against the Jaguars on Monday night. Give me the Jags. Yeah. Hate to do it. Give me Jacksonville. Give me Jacksonville. <clears throat> That's it? That's it. What makes me mad about this podcast today is that he was so happy that his team won an average game. It was a regular season game. That's not, not an average bowl. game. That's Michigan, not, Ohio hold on, State. No, no, hold on. Not a bowl game and not a championship game, not a playoff game. It's a regular season game. That's what it it's was. It's Michigan, Ohio State, bro. I know, but it was a regular season game. It the doesn't matter. Is, you can't, that's a, you that's can't the finish the show because your team won a regular season game. That's not a national the, championship. That's one of the biggest. That's one of the biggest games every single year in college football. Alabama has a lot of games that like that. And the bottom line is, it's always about winning championships. Your goal should be a championship. Well, that's we'll the goal. What with Michigan? We'll see what happens with Michigan. I'm, they're not going anywhere. We're going to find out real soon, Jack. I already gave you my top four, who I think is going to be in the uh, college football playoffs. I think I said it on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. I said Florida State, uh, Michigan, uh, Georgia, and Washington. Those are my four teams I got predicted for the college football playoffs. Alabama's Alabama's going to shake up the the whole playoff system. Alabama's not going to beat Georgia. Alabama's not going to beat Georgia. I mean, it's about making picks. I love it. I'm picking Alabama. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, episode number 79, and uh, unfortunately, the third party of Griff did not make it and last through the whole show. So uh, we'll see what happens next week. <laughs> Thank you all for checking us out, man. Continue to tell a friend to tell a friend. Subscribe, download, all that good stuff. Rock Teasy's he's who I be. Now, why couldn't he leave the show a year ago when TCU knocked off Michigan? Oh, my bad. He stayed for the whole show. For that game. But for this crap, you want to leave the show? Do your job. Bill Belichick says, do your job. I, I'm so flustered, I don't know what to say. <laughs> your name, sir. Tell me your name. <laughs> it's a super day. I'm out. Deuces! Ah, I hate the homies. <laughs>